A vacation that turned into a nightmare, leaving a Connecticut father of three accused of killing a hotel worker in the Caribbean. Today, there was a show of support from his hometown and a United States senator ahead of Scott Hapgood's next court hearing in Anguilla. News 4's Jen Maxfield has the latest. Dozens of people applauded as Scott Hapgood and his wife Callie emerged from Darien Town Hall. Their signs echoed their support, reading, There is no case, drop the charges, and free Scott. What happened to the Hapgood family in Anguilla is every American's worst nightmare. Hapgood was charged with manslaughter on the Caribbean island in April after he says resort worker Kenny Mitchell showed up to his family's hotel room and tried to rob them at knife point. While Hapgood restrained him waiting for police to arrive, Mitchell died. I have not been allowed to return to work where I have worked for over 20 years. I have been disqualified from coaching my kids' sports teams, which gave me a sense of purpose. A revised autopsy showed that Mitchell had a potentially fatal amount of cocaine and alcohol in his system, which could have caused his death. Hapgood has maintained his innocence, saying he was defending his wife and children. All we wanted to do was vacation as a family. This nightmare is my new reality. I'm glad that my nieces are safe, um, that they made it through all this, and uh, glad that Scott was there when this all happened. Hapgood's case has rallied elected officials on both sides of the aisle, including President Trump, who tweeted that he was looking into the case and that, quote, something looks and sounds very wrong. We want, very simply, fair and transparent proceeding and safety and security for Scott Hapgood as he goes through those proceedings. Hapgood's family says that he has received death threats both online and on the phone. His legal team wants assurances from Anguillan and British authorities that if Hapgood returns to the island for a November 11th hearing, that his safety will be assured. In the newsroom, I'm Jen Maxfield, News 4 New York.